Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I want to talk to you about past lives. Now, a lot of people really like this topic. They like digging into the past, but it can be painful. And I want to talk to you about this because I have found it one of the quickest ways to heal. I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. I talk to people about their twin flame awakening, their journey, and the integration of the new light body. In this video, I want to talk to you about past lives for a reason because you have something that is called your Akashic Records. Now, there are levels of your Akashic Records, and your Akashic Record means that this is a way to record your experiences. Part of the reason we are giving up karma and saying goodbye to karma and getting rid of it and healing from it is because we do not need to repeat these experiences. Why? That very simple expression, those who cannot learn from history are doomed to repeat it. You didn't become aware of this 5D love so that you could be doomed. And I want to tell you some more about this. So you have an Akashic record that is valuable. All the experiences that you've had, we always learn through trial and error, okay? This may look very homemade to you, but guess what? Everything from the beginning has been very, very homemade. In fact, I once mentioned it to my guides. I was like, you know, maybe this should be a little bit more sophisticated. It's too homemade. It's, you know, and I could actually feel my guide bristling a bit like ever and say everything that has ever happened has been homemade, period. Like make no mistake about it. It all started from somewhere. We had to take those first baby steps. Now, this is also why I say you're a master. You have mastered certain things. You've mastered the air and the water and the wind and the sun and you know we've learned. There's no sense in getting angry about it but you need to be able to pull through your mastery, your skill set, your gifts and those of your other half too. Past lives are highly significant. What if we all pooled our information. Well, that's kind of what's happening with YouTube. That's kind of what's happening with Wikipedia. It's a pool of combined knowledge to be able to teach, help, learn some stuff, learn about things you might not learn, learn about things from the comfort of just sitting in front of your own computer or even your phone. But there are things you have to learn by doing and by being who you are. Why? Because you are important and you're not crazy. Now, past lives account for a lot of what is called psychosomatic. Like when you go to the doctor and they say, well, we can't find anything. And then they suggest maybe, are you stressed? But you sometimes have an inkling of what you feel, except you don't have it all. Well, guess what? That is the realm that I work in for my deepest healings. The deepest, deepest stuff I do actually comes from a source and has really deep roots. And it's not just the root chakra like you would think. So I want to remind you, your soul is not fooling around about this stuff. Your soul wants you to get better. There's no better way to get better than with some 5D love infusions. I know how to help you with that. Have you ever asked yourself, what did I do? What have I experienced? What have I tried? What have I been through? Did you ever see those little three-year-old prodigies that can play the violin or the piano and you say, my God, they're a prodigy. They're like a child genius. Well, guess what else? Because I've tuned into some of those people, not all the time, but I've had the questions and they have had multiple lives of doing that. We carry those skill sets through to the next life. They're actually coming in with knowledge that they are already prepared to build upon. That is one of the beauty parts of being able to tap your past lives and bring it through. What do you need? What do you need to manifest? What skills are there? What is it about you? Not just your uniqueness, okay? What did you do? What have you experienced? What was your downfall? What was your fall from grace? What has your twin flame done? Ah, now we're tapping into some things here because past lives involve parts of you that are shared parts. You can feel things that they may have done or even perpetrated or been a part of. Maybe you guys were on the wrong side of history. You haven't always incarnated together. 
This is the life where you are incarnated together. Even if you haven't met, and especially if you're in a separation, you have to address some of these things. One of you will. And usually that is the person who's watching the twin flamey stuff, but it benefits both of you. So what did you do? What has your twin flame done? What did they experience? What are they skilled at? How do they do it? These all become a part of the Akashic Records of all time. And part of the contributory pull from a masculine perspective, from a feminine perspective. Your parallel lives. Yes, there are things as parallel, parallel lives. They're very short. You draw yourselves in from those if you know how to, if you're proactive. And many times these are test runs. What about soulmates? Well, many times these are messengers from your real twin flame, like that spouse you had, like that high school crush you had. These are messengers from the real thing, from the real person, from your real soul level. They can be a messenger. Yeah, are you supposed to learn lessons? You better learn those last karmic lessons because you can't keep repeating that into 2024. You just can't. Like, shh, game over, man, game over. Stop playing around with the soulmates. Time to buckle down and get to business on this. You and everybody, me, you, everybody needs some healing from these damage in the past lives. And each of you need healing. Do you know? Well, you may not know, but that is a part of my gift. I see what has happened to you. I know the pathway out. I know how to help you Get that out and remove and integrate your new light body so that you're not carrying that damage around. It is damage. The fun part of this is really having some of these memories, like really understanding, you know, like what's happened uh, and learning how to do some of this regression yourself. That is what my course teaches. So I have a mini course on this. It is in three parts with an outline. And you have had multiple incarnations. Sometimes I'm going to tell you this. There's no other explanation other than it happened in the past. And some people attribute it to their childhood, but it could be the childhood of a past life. It could be when you were a child way back when. It could be in ancient Egypt, ancient Japan, any of the key spots that we have established an energetic vortex. You may have been there at that time and you need your own essence and stuff back to you. What did you do? Did your demise happen way too soon? But here you're ready to live it out. So there are a lot of things that you can learn. But the best way is this way. When you're re-immersed in it and you re-feel and yet it can be different. It can be changed. That is what I teach. That is what I do with people because the revisiting should not be as painful, as destructive, as damaging. It should enable you to simply do something even beyond what's called soul retrieval because soul retrieval doesn't always address you as a twin flame and your other half. My work does. Just imagine how many things could be healed if we could get that infusion of 5D love into people. That is what I'm doing here. That's what I'm talking about. If you do feel you've had past lives. Now, I'm going to back up here. I want to give you a couple examples. I have had an example, personal example, when I used to drink. I used to wonder, like, why am I doing this? I mean, they say it runs in families, but really, why? And when I did the regression, it took me to a place about, it felt like 3000 BC in ancient Greece. I was a wino. I drank wine and wine and wine. But there was a story with that. And the story was, I was the wife of a very prominent general, but that general lost the battle. And guess what? We lost our house. We lost where we could live. We lost our status. We lost our standing in that society. And I drank as a result in that life. I drank and I drank and really kind people took me in. Our children were dissipated. They went to other relatives. They tried to have me work at their, uh, it was sort of like an open air restaurant and they couldn't help me because I was on a collision course with death. And my very last memory is I died in the gutter and 
there were some of my guides to take my hand and literally take me out of the body. And I said to myself, this is how I went. I went dying in the gutter and never ever again. I became determined in that moment once I saw it, never again. Now some other examples, I worked with some people uh, through one of my students where they were all from Muslim countries. This is not taught. Reincarnation is not taught in religions or as a part of spirituality. It is in some cultures. Like if you've studied, you know, uh, Tibetan culture, they teach some of it. Some of Indian culture teaches it, like Hinduism. Hinduism teaches some of it. But not everyone really has a handle on it. And in Catholicism, like I grew up, nobody taught it. People told me years later they got rid of it. You know, they decided they weren't going to teach certain things. But I've found it to be one of the key answers for stuff. So there I was teaching a group and they did. They started having these experiences. One of them was a woman who really needed to quit smoking. She wanted to quit smoking and didn't know how. But smoking had been her demise in one of her lives. And that's what showed up. Now, she was able to glean this and feel it, discern it. And then we went to the next steps of what do you do? And do you know that within a week, this was on a three-part webinar, within a week, she had quit. Cold turkey, never again. She, she felt like never again would she ever pick up again. And that was how she did it. It went like this for her. Now, the next steps, of course, were healing all the damage to the years of smoking in her lungs and things like that. So we worked on that because that is also something I know. And if you've ever been forced to breathe secondhand smoke, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not a smoker and never have been, not in this life. What have you been in other lives? What has been your demise? One of the other really cool ones that I had as an experience was being on believe it or not, a mastodon hunt. And there I was re-immersed in it. And the females and the males were all in this hunt because we were the hunters of our group. We had to take this huge thing down. And one of the key elements I saw was we worked with such synergism. All it took was a glance. Like, you, you got this? Yeah, I got this. You got this? All we had to do was look at each other and send the signals with our eyes. And we were tuned in. And we were some of the prized members of that group because we were able to furnish the group with food for the winter. And this was not fun. This was scary. This was a huge thing in the winter and a huge responsibility on top of not getting yourself hurt or fatally injured or dead and to do it right. We had to do it right. We had to work as a team. People have been able to get along. It's just we're at the breakdowns of a lot of things. So, you know, this was actually fun to relive this experience because it was probably from thousands of years ago. Your cells have memories. Those memories remember love. So just imagine how much love can heal in you. So that's what I'm saying here. So check it out. Um, you can get my program, which is Past Lives Expansion of Love, where we touch on this. How do you know instances of deja vu, which are part of the systems in here, but you have more than one memory system and you have more than one level. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this has helped you. And if you need help, check me out at twinflamereconnection.com or twinflamereconnection at gmail.com. Have a great day. Bye.